you know, I, I should say I, I moved there uh, in 2002, New Year's Day 2002. It was a thriving entertainment district when I moved there. I, I could hear world-class uh, jazz at the James Street Tavern at that time, just a few blocks away. Now it's not in business. That's a, I think we'll see more of that as, as a parasitic development, if, if you get your way, you call it parasitic development, pulling things away from the north side, just like Allegheny uh, Center drowned the, uh, the, the Carnegie Library, the historic Carnegie Library, one of the first in North America, now no longer in operation. It's in that, that white elephant called the uh, Allegheny Center, which was development, the same kind of thing you're talking about, development for people in automobiles, not for people who can walk uh, to the places that you're developing. If you look, that's the most concerning thing about the maps you're showing. There is no development of pedestrian access from the north side to your so-called north shore. That if you're, all your development is for people who are driving there or are parking downtown and taking some other kind of public transportation. And that's the number one concern I have. So I guess I should make it clear, I'm speaking, I'm opposed to any more of this uh, kind of development that neglects the north side or worse yet maybe exploits the north side. Uh, what we need is a written community benefits agreement, and we need it in writing because developers and the authorities have no, uh, no credibility. Uh, the other day, I walked down to the casino, and I can tell you, it is way uglier, far uglier, than what we were promised. It's obvious, okay? And it's not even done yet. Um, and, and it's the same thing with last time we were here. Uh, we heard from Continental, I forget, a year ago. And a week after the presentation, you open the Post-Gazette, what does it say? They want four million more to complete their project, which we didn't hear about, of course, at that, at that meeting. Um, I think I've pretty much said what I needed to say, except that the point of the community benefits agreement, as everyone's pointed out, is we want jobs that pay and offer some kind of respect and self-respect for workers. And we want redevelopment, and we want a community voice in the development of our neighborhood. It's not very complicated, and I, I'm sorry if I sound frustrated, but we have meeting after meeting where we have a few minutes to talk, and then we <laughs> read in the papers that you've you know, done exactly the opposite of what we ask. It happens over and over. And I, I guess I'm just getting a little frustrated. I'm sure, as you can tell, I think a lot of other people are as well. Well, thanks very much for your time. <laughs>